Hello and welcome to Snowrunner News. I'm UK Gamer 8 and I keep you updated with the latest Snowrunner news, Snowrunner PC mods and Snowrunner console mods. And what we had today, well we had the drop of Phase 3 or Season 3 or DLC 3 that came out this morning and the patch note came out about an hour ago and I was just going through some of those. Now I know there's been quite a few issues with guys where they're having memory and RAM issues. Now memory is one issue and the RAM is another. So they are separate and they know there is a problem with it at the moment. Now I had this earlier where I could only download, it was about two mods and I just had to reinstall my game again and then it was working but that isn't working for everyone. Now there has been a memory limit implemented and that's to stop games crashing basically. So that's why you can't download all your mods at the moment. Now they're looking on a fix for this but it's, we'll have to just wait and see on that at the moment because there's not a lot they can do they're aware of it but that's all you can do is reinstall and try and turn off your mods as well now there is the function in the mod browser where you go in and it says clear clean up your mods now you're advised to go and do that whereas if you go into the browser and on playstation it's a triangle button which is the top button of the four buttons if you're on xbox you press that one and then it will take you into the other menu and on there you've got clean clean up mods click that and that will that will delete all your mods but that's what you need to do so you you ideally better off starting a new game because if you want to just play on wisconsin then start a new game wait until it gets fixed and then you can go back to your original game and then you're not going to lose anything because uh, there are people who have lost had their games reset there's others what have had lots of money so there are known issues going on at the moment but this is season three, phase three, and every phase or spin drop, we're always going to have problems. We really are. Now, going on to what we're getting for patch three, season three, not patch three, I've got patch notes on my brain. So it's the new region, Wisconsin, with the two maps, which is Black Badger Lake and Green Woods River. Now, I did a stream on these earlier, opening them up, and then we have the International Paystar 5600 TS. Now that's sat there waiting for you over at Greenwoods River at the Rolled Steel Factory. So as you come in, it's due safe and it's just sat there waiting to go. So what about the Pacific? Now the Pacific, that one is stuck in the mud. So you've got to go in and dig that one out. I didn't see to see if it needed repair or not. I forgot to have a look. But that's at Black Badger. And as you come in through the entrance on the bottom there, it's just over there. Now the garage on that is at the top end of the map and that's where you'll find that now if you're looking for the for the boar that's available in russia and i haven't been to check that either but that is meant to be available in russia you can buy it from the shop in russia on that one but i haven't managed to have a look now the other th this is all for dlc so you need the dlc to get this and also we have new skins for the step 310e the vorengrad and the royal bm17 then this is free for everyone. We have two new trials. Then we have logging contracts for both new and base game maps. Logging add-ons for all the different trucks. Then we have curtains and windshield stickers with customization options and additional customization options for the trucks. Now there has been some more add-ons where well the adjustable low-range gearbox that's available for everyone and the ability to remove on the map trailers so you can just hook up to the trailer and you can delete that trailer so you don't have to take them all back now there was quite a few bug fixes as well for various bits and bobs but i won't go through all of those i'll just but the other thing is added unsubscribe confirmation on the pop-up now when you're in the mod browser so to stop you unsubscribing by pressing it twice which that is pretty good one and then there was various other bug fixes on there which i'll leave a link in the description for all the patch notes and you can go through them all because there is quite a bit and like we said with the memory limit it says on the patch notes for modding a memory limit has been implemented for mods to improve performance while playing with mods this system will be improved through in well in future updates so we just got to sit and wait on that now going on to the console section the ksi va number that can be disabled now and the video settings which kept being restored to default of 
they stay where they are, which is always nice. That was always a pain in the ass. And then there was a various other couple of bug fixes. And then we move on to maps, and they've added a manual loading in the quarry area, Smithville Dam for Michigan. And then there was a bug fix for players who could not restart the lost instrument task in Zinegors. So we still got bug fixes for the old maps, which is quite good, I suppose. And then we have the tweaked, tweaked mirror placements for the WS49X and tweaked winch connection point for the Bandit's Crane. Now, most of that is quite extensive there. So, like I said, we won't go all through that today. Otherwise, this video will be gone forever. So hopefully you'll be enjoying DLC 3 or Season 3 or Phase 3 because uh, I'm quite enjoying it. It's a nice looking map, it really is. I did do a little bit on the PTS but now we're going to run through and play it on console. So what else has been going on? Well we have new mods for PC. The Batra Truck T815 by Zylan which he dropped that in today. Then we also have another Ford, there's an F250 in, and then a new Kraz, and that looks a proper nice bit of kit, I haven't had a look at that one yet. And then we also have another truck pack, which always loving those, the Packzill RSK, so that's pretty cool. And then we move on to console mods, we also have some new additions, where we have the mono bike came out today with the Don 539. And then also the CCM Stadium 9300, 310, sorry, my eyesight is playing up tonight. And then the, we have the Behemoth Titan, I'd add the update with the trail version, so that one's in there as well. So hopefully we'll be getting some more mods now that Phase 3 has been dropped, as I know there's quite a few in the list. Now the Delta pickup, we got found out today that that had a few issues and they have been sorted now and the update's already been gone that was updated a couple of hours ago so hopefully you might even see that tomorrow because i know that we have got some others what are being tested whether they're going to pass or not we shall wait and see and hopefully we get some mods on a friday because that's been good for mods on a friday for the last couple of weeks but there you go now, if you want to stay up to date with the latest SnowRunner news and what's going on with SnowRunner, then come and join the Discord. Any news we find out, we post in there straight away. Got a great community. There's over 400 of us in there at the moment. And if you want to have a chat or just ask a question about something, especially the amount of guys who are like driving to work or something and something pops up and they just want to say, what's that all about? Come on in. We'll answer it. Jobs are good. Then. Now, I've changed the name of Discord to 808 Modding, and we've got quite a few mod creators in there. So, if you want to come and see what's going on, then come and have a look. You'd be surprised what's going on. I've got a few things in the pipeline as well. But I've been too busy the last couple of days. But I'm going to get on my Defender and get that sorted. I've got testing to do on that because we've got to get that out for console as soon as I can. Righto, that's it for today's SnowRunner news. SnowRunner PC mods and SnowRunner console mods. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, I will see you on the next one. Because I've got quite a few coming out over the next few days now. And hopefully we're going to get some streaming in every day or every other day. So I want to get on with a bit of phase through because I haven't done hardly any of the Yukon. It's crazy. So that's your lot. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.